guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a thrift haul, not of clothing, but of uh, home decor. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I wanted to um, redecorate my house or a room in my house uh, with like a bohemian type theme. And so I'm just kind of grabbing pieces here and there as I come across them. And I'm going to try to put them all together in, in the end. And once I completely finish my project, I will also do a video showing you a tour um, of everything that I have done. And everything that I will be getting will either be handmade or thrifted. Okay, so as I said, I got all of these things from the thrift stores and, you know, my idea of bohemian and your idea of bohemian may be very different. Um, I use Pinterest a lot, so I get a lot of the ideas and a lot of the visuals from there. And really, you know, there's just so many different styles of bohemian type decor. Like there's the Navajo type um, bohemian themes. There's the Indian type bohemian. It's just really, it's all different. You know, I don't, I never really looked up the definition to see what it is. But, you know, with me, I always thought like hippie, hippie, you know, let, that kind of stuff. But, whatever. I'm going to show you what I got. If you don't think it's bohemian classified, then let me know in the comments. But... I think I'm gonna make it all work together and I think it'll be really cute so the first thing that I got now I have four of these I purchased four and I got these from the bins um, they are candle holders now I guess a stick could go in here but I'm gonna get the little short ones to go I don't know if you can see on my TV stand back here I already have one well I have the other three over there but you can see there's just a candle holder I thought it was really different um there was no markings on it at all it i feel like it's wood honestly i think it's wood so but i thought it was just extremely different i loved it and i was like oh my gosh there's four of them this is perfect so i have um two on one side of my tv two on the other i was thinking maybe taking two downstairs to put on the mantle above my fireplace but i don't know um and, you know, the thought of burning candles, fire, on wood is kind of disturbing to me. But I really don't burn candles that often. So I think it's more for looks than anything. So, um, but yeah, I don't know if this is wood or I don't really know my materials, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah, so there was four of these. They were really cute. Um, I went and got some candles because candles, you know, candles are candles. Everybody loves candles. So I found this. I thought it was really neat looking. It's kind of like tree bark on it. Just a basic candle. Got this from the retail store for $1.97. And then just another basic candle. Nothing special there. And this one was really cute looking. So I picked that one up. And then I saw this. I was like, ooh, that's cute. And it's just like a, one of the fake ones. So. Got those. And then I got this from the bins. Um, it's a serving tray. I like the wood decor. Honestly, I really do like the wood decor. A lot of the stuff you're going to see has that theme to it. Because that's just my thing. I, I've always liked that kind of stuff. And my house will be very decorated in wood. <laughs> but um anyway on the bottom it's got the felt on the bottom i don't really know if this is anything you know special but it was at the bins it does need to be cleaned up a little bit but i just put my candles on it that's what i had figured to do with it so i will go ahead and put those back all right so i got a lampshade now this one is just kind of a basic lampshade, but it's got like vinyl, I guess is what this is. Kind of a vinyl type material. But I liked how the fading and the coloring was. Um, but yeah. But I'm trying to find a lamp to go with this one, but for now I'm probably gonna put this on top of the lamp that I do have, which I actually found that lamp in the dumpster. Brand new, it had the price tag still on it. It just did not have the top, um, which is really odd, but 
Um, you know, if I find a brand new lamp in a dumpster, I'm going to pick it up, you know? All right, so I got this. I paid... I got this from the bins, so you know I paid by the pound. My total was like nine dollars for everything I got. I also have a clothing haul that I'm gonna do after this video, so um, this was included with that. So I picked these up because I want to get a rod, a wooden rod, and these I got from the bins. They're just the rod holders that go on the wall. Um, but yeah, I grabbed these. They were at the bins, and they're kind of heavy. I like those. Today, I picked up this pillow. I thought accent pillows are like my thing. There's dust flying everywhere. I do have to wash this. Um, it has a feather pillow on the inside, so I'm not going to really mess with that. I'll probably Lysol it down, but I will unzip this and I will wash this in the washer. But it is a long accent pillow. Really cute. I love the, the coloring, the flowers so pretty um there's a, a few little spots that need to be snipped but besides that it's really cute and it will match my couch so um i'm definitely going to start looking for some brown um pillows or pillow cases at least because i do have plenty of pillows for my sofa um so if i can find some square pillow cases even if i have to make them myself then i will do that but i do want to kind of do like this color theme in my living room that's my goal My sister found this today when we were at his house, which is a thrift store in West Columbia. And it is just this, it says Mexico on the bottom. So it's just cute little, I, I call it Navajo. I, I don't, I don't know. Is, is, is it Navajo? I don't know. But anyway, it's just this cute little Mexican um, pot, pottery. So... Um, I don't really know where I'm going to put it, you know, I am planning on having some shelving, so I may just have a couple spots of just random decor, just kind of on the shelves. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute, it kind of matched the theme, I guess, but it probably won't do well in my living room. So I may try to do these kind of bright, brighter colors in my dining room. I don't know yet. All right. Now I got these, um, these are placemats. They are square placemats and I've got six of them. Now my table is a six seater, but I did take the leaflet out of the middle because it was six people. I'm, we're, we're only three people in this house. So I was like, you know, I want more room. So I took it out. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, but if I find something a little smaller, I may go ahead and pick it up and just save these for a day where we might have company over. I am still looking for a um, coffee, uh, coffee table, a tablecloth, um, which will, I guess, be in a green color is what I'm kind of going for. So but anyway, so these are just some square placemats that I found. I got these from the bins as well. I don't know if they'll really fit on my table, to be honest. All right, and then when I found those, I also found these, and I was like, man, if I could just find the rest of these, that would be perfect, because these are the perfect size for my table, and with the coloring, it actually would have matched my table, so I would not have had to um, use a tablecloth on it, but yeah, so I got two of these. Um, I guess if we ever get like a little kitchenette table, like a little two-seater table for our kitchen, I might do this in there. All right, and then of course I got another tray because I love trays. These are perfect for like putting candles on. Um, some people, like I said, they don't like the idea of wood and candles and I get that, you know, I 100% get it. But like I said, I really don't burn candles that often. Typically when we do burn candles, they are in the glass jars. Um, so this would be perfect for glass jars, definitely. Um, or incense, whatever. I don't know. I just, I like how it had like that, um, like the bamboo look to it on the edges. Really cute. And then I found this today and it is a lamp. This one was really special. I saw this. I was like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. It's in pretty good shape. There's a few little spots that I need to paint over with some brown, but it, I mean, that's one spot literally, but it is a lamp. And it's like one of those, 
it takes the little tiny light. So it's kind of like a nightlight type lamp. Um, but is that not the greatest looking lamp? I thought it was so beautiful. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Obviously, it's not going to go in my living room. Um, oh my god, there's a spider though. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's a spider. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was... It was so tiny, but you know what? A spider is a spider to me. Um, that was scary. I don't like spiders. Spiders are like, oh. All right. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to find a spot for it. Um, definitely really, really cute. And it's got that wooden look that I love so much. All right. And the last three items that I have here. I don't know what this is, but I was like, oh, well, that'll be perfect just for decor, you know, just to sit around. It's just this carved wooden piece of chunk, you know, I don't know. It's just carved. And I was like, well, I don't know what it is, but I think it would look really nice just sitting on a table and people will look at it like, what the heck is that? And I'll be like, your guess is as good as mine, buddy. I have no idea. It is really cute, and I, I mean, maybe I'll figure out what it is eventually. It looks like it has leaves on it. If you look at this, like, the engraved right here is leaves. Um, and then this kind of looks almost like a flower, so I don't know. It could be. Um, and then I got this, which is just a Kleenex holder cover thingy, and this, which made me think, okay, well, this is for, like, toothbrushes and stuff. Which I'm not going to use it for that. I'm actually going to put pens and pencils in here. Um, because one thing I like to do is sit at my sofa and read or, um, you know, list, um, you know, do measurements, write them down, whatever. And I'm always looking for a pen. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get this, fill it up with some pens and put it next to my sofa on the end table. So I will always know where the pens are. So, but yeah, so that was it for my little bohemian decor haul. Of course, I, there's a lot more that I need to get. I'm still on the hunt for curtains. I was gonna make them myself, but I'm like, I'm still looking because if I can find them cheap enough already made, I would really like to get like an older vintage piece. Um, but you know, it's really difficult, especially at our bins because we have people who are there just for the linens and boy, if they see something like that, they scoop it up so fast because those things do sell for a lot of money on eBay. Um, so there's a lot of competition for curtains, like window treatments, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if it comes down to it, I'll just make my own. It really isn't going to be that expensive, but if I was to buy it brand new, it's like $59. I was looking at Urban Outfitters and it was like $59 per panel and I need four panels. So that's, a, that's, that's a little too much for me. You know, like, what is it? $240? No, thank you. I would much rather spend like, you know, maybe 50 and get all four of them made. So, um, I don't know how to sew. So I was thinking about using that web, um, that tape, the no sew tape that you just iron in. Hopefully I can do that. But anyway, um, that is it. And my next haul video will be clothing and shoes. So if you would like to see that, um, I will be uploading that probably sometime tomorrow. So look for that around 2 p.m. or so. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you on the next video. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be having a giveaway here very soon. And if you don't know my Instagram name, it is Allie Bethany. So I'll put that right over here somewhere. Um, definitely keep your eye out because a giveaway is coming up here kind of near June. So I will talk to y'all on the next video. Bye.